Good morning, everybody. All respected dignitaries present in the dais, and of course, all eminent guests present. It's a really great opportunity for me to be a part of this World Education Summit and sharing some of the initiative what Central Board of Secondary Education has taken so far or what we are envisaging with respect to draft National Education Policy 2019. First of all, let me ask you a question. How many of you, all education is present here, how many of you really have gone through the draft NEP, which is available in ministry's website? Not many. Huh? Okay. So in the context of draft NEP, of course there are certain segments which are nicely covered, but at the same time there are certain challenges, I think, which we need to voice over together for the holistic growth of education in this country. Especially as I am representing an examinations board, and unlike me, uh, representative from the state of Manipur, Bihar, and of course our key stakeholder, Navodaya Vidyalaya, and all school principals, both from India and abroad, are present here. Now there is a threat for the board of assessment. Now, unlike the privatizations of university, the same concept had been some way mapped in the draft NEP so that anybody can become a board of assessment and the flexibility what has been envisaged, philosophically it is definitely ideal, but we have to go with the reality. At present, we are conducting examination for class 10th and 12th only for five to six subjects. But in the draft NEP, 24 compulsory subjects has been earmarked. Beside 24, there are certain optional subjects. So all school leaders need to introspect, even the state board representative and the different state stakeholder, the machinery like additional chief secretary, even the minister of uh, education, government of Nagaland is present here. The state need to really introspect whether we are able to face this challenge from 2020 or not. Whether these five subjects formula will be truly applicable and we can continue with or 24 compulsory subjects with the options of twice board examination in a year and minimum three subjects need to be appeared by all the students, whether we are going to remove the burden of the student or we are going to impose an additional burden to the student. I think it is high time to introspect and give your honest feedback what we can really implement in this current scenario or considering the future prospect in mind. That feedback last date is 15th August. To my earnest request to all the education uh, leaders present here, you yourself as well as through your other partner, you must give that feedback to the ministry so that they can really focus on the futures of education. As the today's context is killing, now again, there is a gap between the, always I focus in this forum also, earlier also I have uh, requested the different bodies to come forward. The first and foremost is why skilling is not propagated or geared up as expected despite of the effort of the Honorable Prime Minister who has continuously focusing on Skill India, Startup India. But again, in the school segment or college segments, we are very happy to offer only the academic subject. Honestly speaking, schools are also comfortable. And in the higher education, the major chunk of BA, BSc, become 
other than engineering they are the skilling component is missing so more focus should be there that all higher education institute in every districts of this country the colleges should offer the vocational education then there will be a direct linkage with the school if we look into the european country or even any developed economy they became developed economy by focusing on education and not only education education the skilling and vocational education is the integral part of their education system why can't we customize whether it is madrasa educations or whether it is our so called holistic higher educations everywhere we need to work together i had a discussions with uh, honorable um, chairman and vice chairman of aict there are so many engineering college and they have a very good physics chemistry lab many of our school whether it is government or private they don't does not possess that quality laboratory and because of that lacuna they are not offering and promoting the science education if we look into the whether it is school infrastructure or college infrastructures the crores of infrastructure are under utilized school to college connect is more important at this stage wherever the good laboratory is present how this can be extended to the school student that need to be thought of and i think from this august forum we need to work together and this in terms of cbse's initiative let me also uh, share that recently we came up with a mandatory circular on hub of learning the hub of learning it is conceptualized that one lead school is going to cater the requirement of the five neighboring schools and that hub of learning the lead collaborator we have identified based on their last five years performance and the availability of the teachers infrastructure and other parameter now the similar initiative with this one hub if some higher educational institute iti or polytechnic or even vocational uh, skill development center of the different state if they come forward and they cater that this requirement i think there will be holistic growth again what our government is focusing on especially on the demographic dividend and creating a resource human resource for the other country along with of course focusing on our uh, um, country we need to map that skill along with the labor uh, management information systems with this kind of initiative this if you please look into i am not taking much time please visit cbse's website there are a lot of initiative in skilling including we include the artificial intelligence as a subjects from class 8 and it will continued up to class 12 and we are trying to create a ai movement unlike the india has uh, created the it revolutions the second the yoga third now from the school level to higher educations we are going to create a ai movement for the country and for the whole world and that's why we are also proposing a ai olympiad this year from the side of cbsc i earnestly request all the eminent um, dignitaries present here that jointly we are going to announce very soon thank you very much uh, and thank you the organizer for inviting me we, we can take a uh,